Well, this CNC project is creating on the tool a platform onto which to set an air handler. And I'm going to be placing it on top of the steel platforms that are here, the steel L angles. I'm going to drop it right on top. hit subscribe yet we would very much appreciate if you did and hopefully you're enjoying this video now let's get back to it okay so out with the old and in with the new Henry. 
spindle.
pulls down, he's going to dust for it. I hold on to the very last cast. That bit, that 8.8 inches per second is no problem at all. That bit's normal. Not so, let's see what this looks like now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. I'm pretty thrilled with how this looks. All I did was remove that one clamp. Let's, uh, let's remove the other one. Okay, um, it's not as heavy as it used to be, so let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need two hands to get that pulled up and out. See what this looks like. Let me pull this out because I feel it. Wow. Really good looking there. than we needed. These outside corners are going to serve the purpose on the outside corners, hopefully. This corner here, we're cutting around here. That opposite corner I just showed you would be over on this side. 
really nice. I mean, another five thousandths, I suppose. Yeah, and the vacuum was perfect. The vacuum was whole. I mean, I had I discovered immediately that I had to turn the vacuum off in order to get in order to get the um, material pulled off the bed, even even through. That's my spoil board. This is a board on top of my spoil board. That's half inch MDF. Let me pull this off. get you over there to look at it. The edge is looking nice. This here is perfect. That's not an issue at all. In fact, it's marginally preferred. All this large notch is for Obviously, all the PVC that's down here. And I've got my air handler. This is what we're actually connect, uh, sitting on top of this. I've got it resting here on a rolling cart just for the time being because I wanted the benefit of what's happening. This is where it's going to fit. So the next video, we're going to pick up installing this, actually. So let's move on to that. Okay, so what we've got here is our completed platform, and I'm going to apply the uh, neoprene to it, and then I'll show you where we're going to put this item. It came out pretty well. Actually, I'm really pleased with it. This is obviously the underside. That's the side that we need to be working on when it comes to applying the neoprene, so that's what we'll do. Um, and then I'll show you where it's going, going to. Took a long time to run the tool path and I would probably be more aggressive with the cut depth, certainly, should I be doing that again. Um, but like all other things, it's just really about experimentation, getting it right. So, a uh, two inch wide, eighth inch thick sponge neoprene that is two inch wide, is what we've got, self adhesive, and just a little dampening is all, is all I really had in mind with this. Not looking to, um, get too technical with it, just figured better. Something would be quite better than nothing. I haven't dry fit this yet, so we're sort of 
certainly going to be working with a bit of faith that it actually is going to fit. But I did measure, I measured everything before I really got to it, I suppose. Double check the dimensions. Hot. something else, which I have something planned for this. All right, that's what I had in mind with the sponge neoprene. Not a big deal. Okay, now let me show you where this is going. Right down here where I've got, where I have the uh, Air handler. And what I do is, I may have mentioned, I buy what I believe to be quite high quality filters just from the local, from well, from wherever. And um, I use easy peel type of duct tape to pull that material straight off. So it does come straight off. Okay, we'll wheel this out of the way. We're gonna unplug it. And what's nice about these is they do operate on a remote and I've got two of them currently in the shop. And they, the other one I've got up at the ceiling which you can see there. One down below, just to capture what we can get going here. Okay, so let's do this. If you've not hit subscribe yet, we would very much appreciate if you did, and hopefully you're enjoying this video. Now, let's get back to it.
Okay, so the bottom line is what was failed to consider was the head of the bolt, even though I'm quite sure that I drew it. Um, but I don't know what happened. We'll have to look at the toolpath and the one over there as well. It might be just easiest, as I was saying earlier, to just unbolt this and let that come to the ground and slip it in that way. That's that's definitely what I'm going to do. It's four bolts and two uh, clamps for the Becker. So that's what that's what I'm probably going to do. So, but for right now, we've got to get those corners notched. We've got to notch that around those heads of the bolts. So let's move on and do that. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.